Hi, this edition is about people who live by their mobile phone, who put their personal stuff in the cloud, the digital natives. Heartbeats, the metronome of time, close my eyes and visualize. Who are they? How do they live? And do they still need a bank? Well, in this edition, we'll take it from here. We will take it from here. Thank you very much. Bye bye. From the inner depths of my soul and open wide. See, I'm getting chased by this local crime. There's too many ropes to climb, and I just want to ride. Ride to my throat, some mime, and hold the line. So, let's kick off this episode by explaining who we, the digital natives, are. But what's a good way? Wait. It's Alessio. A digital native are young people between 18 and 30 years old. Actually, are the people who were born in the digital age. They start using computer, laptop, internet became mainstream, and then they got exposed to all kinds of new technologies. They have a completely different lifestyle. Uh, we say that their life is in uh, flux, meaning that they don't have a path to follow, uh, done by step. But they, for instance, they study, they work at the same time, they become self-employed and they create their own business, then they go to a larger corporation. It's a bit harder to, uh, to follow them along a linear path. Okay, that's clear, but we want to show you. So we asked our fellow digital natives to send us a slice of their lives. Let's see. Good morning. Op dit moment ben ik op mijn familiefeest en hier wordt ook heel veel gebruik gemaakt van sociale media. Kijk maar even mee. De voet, thuis, tegenwoordig, dat staat max aan ons. De meest populaire social media sites zijn natuurlijk Facebook en Snapchat. I wake up in the morning with a phone, I sleep next to my phone, I never turn it off. I read once that people watch their telephones like over 200 times a day, which is really crazy. Now it takes a lot of time in my daily life to check out Facebook, what's new with my friends, family what's happening in the world. But if I'm home alone and uh, I don't have anything to do when I feel like a night by myself, I just watch series all night. So yeah, then I spend a lot of time. And it can be like on my MacBook. I can have my iPad here and I can have my phone. So that's pretty awful, I guess, but I do that. So let's go to a hackathon because that's where the digital natives are actually creating the fintech future. Hey everybody, this is Andre reporting from Bucharest, Romania, from the third global hackathon, international hackathon organized by ING. So check it out. Our idea is ATM Lite. Our application is called uh, Donate and Play. We are working on uh, an idea using um, a brain computer interface. My idea is about cardless ATM. I think my favorite digital device is a MP3 necklace. My iPod. Fitbit Surge. My computer also. <laughs> <laughs> I think in 10 years everything will be in cloud and device-to-device -device communication and interactions will be very popular. I think the, the idea of a one big bank is going to disappear. I, I see all kinds of um, banking service providers that are offering all kinds of uh, services and, and much more uh, innovation. So it's uh, yeah, totally changed uh, compared to today. The future is bright, but how do we digital natives manage our finances? When I go back on the weekends to Belgium, that I have to have cash on me, and I never have cash on me. I always use the, the thing like, hey, I work for a bank, we don't use cash. We only pay with cards, so, you know? I don't even have coins on me, and now I'm used to doing the contactless payment here in the canteen or at the supermarket. I really think it goes uh, way quicker. Mainly I use internet banking, but whenever I need, I can use my iPhone for doing my banking stuff, checking my balance on my account or transfer some money. Every time I get my salary, I put just everything on my savings account. So every time when I come to the supermarket, sometimes I forget I have to get money, so all the time. Yes. Seriously, almost every day I'm transferring money from my savings account to my normal account. We have Clip now, where you can easily pay with your, yeah, you, you just this with, with You need a mobile, yeah, yeah, with a phone number, and it, it's kind of like WhatsApp, so you can also send a message, um, like, hey, Grietje, I still have to pay you back, here's five euros. Well, it looks like we have this money thing in the bag. 
But what do we actually want from a bank? I think the most important thing for us is that we can, it's always available. Our money is always available. It's flexible and it's quick. I think one of my biggest desires as a customer of a bank is uh, get to know which benefits I have in the long term. Because if the app doesn't work, I get, you know, I'm stuck. If you're yeah. in a store and you buy something, yeah. that can ruin my day. In most of the cases, what we do, we put digital in the digital space, processes and product, and we think that that's enough. Um, that's not enough because we are not completely changing the way of interacting with uh, this new generation. I would say that as an NG, we are uh, one step uh, further because first of all we are aware about it and we are already thinking about the next generation and the fact that we are talking about it's already approved. Hi guys, thank you for watching. See you hey next guys. time. Hey. I'm on Facebook, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Twitter, whatever. Like me. Well, things are sure changing fast for ING as well. A colleague and musician from Poland is going to play you out. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Witam, nazywam się Hubert Staśkiewicz. Na co dzień pracuję w ING Banku Śląskim w Wrześni. Natomiast od zawsze w moim życiu towarzyszyła mi muzyka. Obecnie udzielam się w kilku zespołach muzycznych jako basista. A oprócz tego w wolnym czasie tworzę i nagrywam własne kompozycje. Okay. So Esther, how much time do you spend on a daily basis online? <laughs> Can you stop it now? <laughs> Can we start it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh. So we asked our fellow digital natives to show us a slice of their lives. Fout, yo, yo. <laughs> you know how to do a hackathon? That's where the... <laughs> Fintech culture. <laughs>